WIFOFM in Jessa. Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob show for this Thursday morning, 21st day of April. And it's brought to you by O'Quinnett Associates, Murphy Builder Supply, Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings, and First Southern Bank. Hi, Wayne and surrounding counties. This is Sean O'Quinn with O'Quinn and Associates. The one constant in life is change. Throughout our lives, we will go down roads that we never imagined. I have decided that it is time for me to make a change. I have decided to start my own independent insurance agency. What does this mean for you? Better rates and multiple companies. Give us a call at our new number, 912-385-1000, or stop by and see us. We are still at 212 South 1st Street, and we look forward to serving you. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings in Wayne County is a popular thing. To dine in or take you out for one delicious meal, and with the low great prices, it's simply a steal. Famous for the variety of sauces, mild, wild, and singer inferno. When it's time to eat lunch or dinner, Damon's Restaurant is the place to go. Located in the middle of town on West Cherry Street, yes, Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings simply can't be beat. So next time you're hungry and looking for a great meal, head to Damon's Restaurant and enjoy a great deal. The number to call is easy, 588-WING, 588-9464, the real thing. Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings, those chicken wings are a very popular thing. Hi, I'm Raymond Brown. And I'm Mandy Yeomans. At First Southern Bank, our customers are like family. As a locally owned community bank, we're dedicated to helping our clients succeed. We have loans for every need, whether it's personal or business. We have lines of credit, auto loans, equipment loans, and of course, we offer mortgages. Stop by our bank or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. The world famous Butch and Bob Show. All right, world famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup Big Dog Country Radio. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? I'm good. You doing good? All right, so you got your national champions Georgia hat on this morning, 2021. Looking good. Go dogs. Yeah, we're proud. Well, we've got guests in here this morning. We got Kevin McCrary, county commissioner. We got the mayor of uh, Scriven, Jason Weaver, in this morning. So we got Scriven in here this morning, but they're here to talk about something for the entire county, though. Kevin, what's going on? Uh, we just wanted to come in and let everybody know about Amnesty Day. That's the day where people can bring their trash to certain locations. Um, oh, bring trash. Oh, there was a lot of folks out there who were hoping their relatives would be able to have amnesty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different type of amnesty, huh? That's okay, right. Okay, this is a tra- tra- for trash, okay? That's right. 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 Wanted to clear that up. All right. Those of you who were wishful thinking, <laughs> um, we, we've got several things that have changed from last year. The two locations we're going to have is Grace Community Center. There will be two roll offs there. And also at the, beside the farmer's market where they used to have the recycle center, there'll be four roll offs there for people to bring their trash. Anybody in the county can bring it. We're not going to turn anybody away. We have a lot of, Certain items that you can't bring as usual, there's going to be, this is all going to happen April the 30th. So Saturday week Saturday is Amnesty week. Day. Yes, Get that sir. stuff ready to take to these roll-offs at these different locations here in Wayne County. That's right. We have a lot of trash that's on the side of the road. We have areas where people dump trash. Anybody's welcome to go pick that stuff up and bring it to the roll-offs. We will have a few people out there, but not many that can help if you need help getting a certain area cleaned up. But we're going to try to do it from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturday. Okay. That way people can come in and bring it. You can go ahead and get it together this Saturday, have it on a trailer. So when the next Saturday rolls around, you can bring it up and we'll be able to help you offload it. Once you get to the location, we're asking that people don't come dump when there's nobody there 
we um, thank goodness that Republic has offered to provide this service for us, bringing the roll-offs and things like that. It's a good plus for the county. Anybody in the county can bring their debris. There's certain things that you cannot bring. If you have questions about that, um, you can call City Hall in Scriven at 579 those are going to be uh, the questions you have about certain items that you I know you're it's been bring. construction items in the past. That's right. Right. Yeah. And I, I can't remember what else, but I know construction that in the past you, would, you, you couldn't drop off us. Any other major categories? Well, we problems? did not get the grant for the tires this year. So no tires this no year. No tires. You can't drop off tires. Okay. We're not, we had a huge amount of tires brought last year, and I know that's a big problem throughout the county, people dumping them out and things like that. But we're not going to be able to do that this year. We're going to try to focus more on the regular trash. Um, if you have couches and things like that, but some but of you the can hazards, take, you can bring furniture. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, all right. Sir. You can bring furniture. We're also going to accept um, appliances, the metal appliances and things like that that people have, so that they can get rid of those. A lot of people don't have the ability to go all the way out to Broadhurst and pay to dump it so this is one of the things that we're trying to help the county out with so that you don't have a lot of clutter around your home i'm sure the wives are going to have a check off list for the husbands for them to do this saturday to get things together to be able to bring them up there and get them out of their yard you know a lot of it's unsightly in your yard and this is just one of the things that myself and jason and Charlene Armstrong, she's she was unable to be here. She had previous engagements, but she will be there at the location in Jessup monitoring things that people are going to be dumping into the dumpsters to make sure we don't put the wrong things. Because what that does is if they put things that are not accepted, then we have to take those things out and remove them to get rid of them mm-hmm. and that's why we don't want them some of the things that they will not accept that we don't need to put in there is yard clippings asbestos such as roof shingles or floor tiles motor oil um the tires as we said they we are not accepting them at all um tvs computers appliances containing freon um batteries paint liquid medical waste, uh, radioactive waste, as well as construction debris. And that means anything that has to do with the uh, building of a house. Right. How many people have radioactive materials at their home that would be a concern on this? I don't know. You don't know, Jason? We don't the mayor of Scriven, out. you know anyone that has radioactive materials hanging around their house? Maybe. Other than a microwave. Thirteen. Thirteen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This list come from Republic, so yeah. You know, well, I could, I'm, I'm sure it, those are toxic items right there, and yeah. they have to go into a special section of uh, the, the, the the land field out there. So this stuff that's going to be dropped off is going to go probably in the regular area. So no tires, no motor oil, no you know freon microwaves, things of that sort, radioactive stuff. I mean, if you want to bring that refrigerator that had freon, cut that line. I mean, if it's if it don't have freon, yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't say that. Um, Jason <laughs> bending the rules there a little bit. Well, I mean, you can call I an air know. conditioner company or refrigeration yes, and have it, and have took, it, just have it right cut and, out. and took out. Well, right. then it won't be That's taken out, mean. then you don't have to worry that. about it. I mean, I don't mean just cut it with some clippers. or. <laughs> well, we didn't know. Yeah, just let that Freon run down the driveway there. <laughs> <laughs> so just get rid of the Freon container there, and then you can bring that, uh, bring that appliance. Okay. All right. That's right. So, uh, and then, of course, just regular stuff. I, you know, I know a lot of folks, you know, get excited about, you know, the, the furniture part of it because a lot of folks have old furniture they want to get rid of or they want to pay to take it all the way out to Broadhurst and stuff like that. A lot of people have a conscience and they don't want to go drop it on the side of the road or out in the woods somewhere, even though there's a lot of people who do that. And, uh, and so it's going to be a great amnesty day for Wayne County coming up on April 30th. And again, like I say, if you have an area down the road from your house that people are dumping trash regular, you're welcome to go pick that up and bring it in also. We okay. just want to clean up Wayne County, make it look presentable. You know, we have a lot of people that travel through here 
uh, throughout the year that look at things like that and want to make sure we have a presentable county. And I'm I'm proud to be a Wayne County and myself. I'm sure Bob is because he loves baseball and all of that. But we just want to make it look presentable so we don't have a lot. We In the past, we had groups that came in and they would go along certain roads that we pinpointed that have a lot of trash and they would pick up trash um, we don't have any this year a lot of this has been rushed in um, I'm kind of late on getting stuff together this year but we do have it we it is available if somebody has something they need to bring certainly welcome and the main thing is if you have an item that you're in question about don't don't sit there and wonder, well, can I bring it? Am I going to load it up and get it up there? And they're going to turn us away. The best thing to call is City Hall. Just call Scriven City Hall, and they can tell you whether that audit can be accepted or not on Amnesty Day. Five seven nine two two one one. Okay. And that way we can uh, make sure we we do what we, we are supposed to. We don't want to lose this uh, – collaboration with the republic and be able to go in with them because they are so gracious to bring these roll-offs out at no charge to wayne county and um let us be able to get rid of some of the debris i hear a lot of people talking about they have stuff around their house and they don't know what to do with it um i've heard complaints about going out and dumping at republic because it's you know you, you do need a a truck or something like that. A lot of people don't have that capability to be able to do that. But I think it's a good thing for the community. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I know it's usually done once a year, and, and um, it's always a great thing, and it's always busy. And, and, and Jessup, you said the, the roll-offs, the containers are going to be right next to the farmer's market where the recycling center used to be in that empty lot there. Is that right? Yes, sir. And in Scriven, they're going to be at the Grace Center, right? Yes, sir. Anywhere else in the county? That's the only two, the two places. places. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. That's the only two places, but we'll be accepting trash from anywhere in the county that right. somebody has something, so don't feel like you're left out. We have a location. You may have to drive a little bit farther, but last year we tried putting them in other lo- other areas around the county, and it just got to be very confusing and, and getting people to stay at those posts and monitor what was being put in the trash cans. And as you mentioned, uh, you know, don't drop stuff off in the, into the roll-offs if there's not anybody there. Yeah, but sure. there should be somebody there. You only have two locations, so hopefully you have enough volunteers to get out there and, and help um, advise people on what can be dropped in there and what can't be dropped in there. That's right. And we should have some information on, as to where you can dump these items. If not, we'll have a phone number that you can call if you have some of the hazardous materials and things that are not on the list of things that can be dumped into the roll-off so you can call them and find out what you need to do to take care of those items if you have radioactivity to thir- what, 13, <laughs> the 13 people, families that uh, yeah, the, 13 uh, people to have 13. radioactivity in their closet um but anyway according to what jason's kidding about yes that's well, right. that was the latest data that, that was the latest through. data that came <laughs> down from the u.s government huh yeah, yeah. all right all right, uh, so Amnesty Day coming up on April 30th. Your chance to get rid of uh, a lot of things around your home or business that you just want to get rid of, and you don't want to have to pay to go out to uh, to Broadhurst to get it dropped off, whatever. You can drop it off with these roll-offs in Jessup next week on Saturday. What are the towers again? Hours for the uh, uh, for the event? 8 o'clock till 12 o'clock. So four hours, 8 to 12 Right eight, next to the farmer's 8 market. 8 a.m. Yeah, of course, 8 a.m. <laughs> yeah, you can't go. <laughs> Some 8 a.m. to 12 noon at uh, next to the farmer's market there. Where the, right there next to the farmer's market in that open field there in Jessup and also at the Grace Community Center in Scriven. 8 a.m. to 12 noon next Saturday. So you can save yourself some money and time and aggravation and just drop them off. That's right. No, you're you got the mayor of Scriven in here. You, you got stuff in front of you. There, what you what you got there? Oh, right, it's the Amnesty Day stuff. That's the Amnesty Day stuff. Anything yeah. you want to add to Amnesty Day? Um, the only thing I would add, I mean, Kevin's spot on with everything. Uh, when you talk about dropping something off with nobody there, what happens is the nighttime drop offers. But the good thing about it, Grace Community, is we got some cameras up over there now, so we'll be able to figure out what's. You know, yeah, something. so folks don't go there in the middle of the night beforehand. That's and drop right, off because you're not the public has to. to drop these things off Friday, you know, afternoon. Yeah, the, so. yeah, yeah. And uh, just, it's like we tell our citizens, we do it a lot. We put our trash trailers around every holiday for extra trash. And 
don't abuse it because we'll lose it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's simple. I yeah, mean, don't, don't try to and get by with stuff you're not supposed to. Our people will be there. Now, if you live inside the city of Scriven Limits, and we have a lot of elderly people that can't, doesn't have means to haul. So what we do in cooperation with this is that week, which is next week leading up, if they put their stuff beside the road, beside the road, in Scriven, in, Scri- in the city of Scriven, mm-hmm. city limits, city limits, our guys will go around Friday and pick it up and put it in a dump trailer and okay. and haul it off. All um, right. So that kind of just helps out some of our elderly people, and and we 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 have on the flyer. We ask them to call to let us know. Hey, I got some stuff in front of the house. Okay. So, now, did you mention Kevin that TVs cannot be dropped off? Is yeah. that correct? And somebody just texted in. Where can people take old TVs? They don't need anymore. Do you have to especially go to uh, out to Broadhurst and let them put it in a special I would, area? I would call. That's what I would yeah. do. I would call Republic and talk to them and yeah, find talk out. Republic. And mm-hmm. they can tell you. And I do not have a number for them, but just look it up. Yeah. Everybody looks it up online these days when it Google comes to phone it. Numbers. And you'll yeah. have it in a few <laughs> minutes, but yeah, and th- and that's a good thing because that's what I want is people asking so that we don't because, like yeah. Jason said, if we abuse this privilege and and they're dumping a lot of things in there, and once they spot items in there that are not acceptable out there, they have to go through the whole roll off, and right. we don't want that. We right. we want it to be a a smooth transaction so that we can keep a good uh, partnership with Republic and be able to uh, to to do this and provide this for the citizens of Wayne County. Okay. Well, sounds good. Hopefully, folks won't bend the rules on Friday night and try to drop stuff off that's not supposed Shh, to be there. Don't say that. Well, I don't have to say that. They're thinking it anyway. So no, <laughs> yeah. hopefully they won't, <laughs> hopefully take that they won't, the they won't do that. It'll be interesting to get there, you know, at 8 o'clock in the morning and see if there's anything in there. Don't do that because we don't want to rule, you know, lose this, what Republic does each year because this, if they have to go through each roll off and pull out items that, that are not supposed to be in there, they may say, well, it's not worth it for next year. That's so, exactly uh, just put right. the items in there that are, um, that, that are accepted. If you have any questions at all, what's accepted or not accepted, then just call Scriven City Hall, and they'll let you know what you can or cannot drop off next week in these roll-offs on Amnesty Day on April 30th. That's exactly right. I appreciate it, and I appreciate appreciate y'all letting us get this information out. I'm sure Bob's going to be announcing it throughout the week, but uh, we're at, through y'all, we were able to get this out, and with the Republican generously donating their time and material to uh, bring the roll-offs out to help uh, help the city of Wayne County and keep it beautified. Okay. Make it look good. All right. I now, Jason, wanted to talk a little bit about what's going to be happening in Scriven this summer. Yeah, we're getting, we're finalizing all the details for the Independence Day celebration, 4th of July, fireworks, the whole shooting shebang. Um, the shooting shebang, huh? That's right. That's right. What day um, is it going to be? July the 2nd. July Saturday 2nd. night. Okay, Saturday night, July 2nd. Yep. Will be all the... The festival will be... A big festival. The festival will be that, that afternoon with the car show and the the norm as we've had the past few years leading up to the fireworks at dark 30. And But July the 1st will be Second Chance Band again. Um, that's the Friday night before like we did last year. It will be back inside the fire station. Everybody absolutely just loved having it there. They were up in the fire station, They're in right? the fire station. They're out, outside of it, but they're inside? Is they're that inside it? of it. People were inside of it sitting. There's, They have plenty of room for dancing. The doors are up. People were, I mean, it was more people than, than we've seen yet. I, Bob, you came, didn't you? I was there. It was a good time, wasn't it? A good time was had by all. We always have a good time in Scriven, Butch. Yeah, yeah, you I just know. try it sometimes. Party Central down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, it, it, we're getting all the details together. Vendors are calling, um, and get, and getting on the list. Uh, if you are a vendor, call our office, talk with Courtney, um, five, seven, nine, two, two, one, one Courtney and Barbara will get you set up and everything you need to be a vendor for that, that day for that festival is we expect, uh, well, we probably expect rain because I've been in office <laughs> five years and it ain't not rained yet. But, so if you are a vendor, bring a tent. It'll rain, but it'll quit. Yeah. That's just how it goes. And yeah. Scriven on. If it don't matter what day we try to If we're having a drought during the summertime, just schedule that Independence yeah. Day in Scriven. And Scriven. We've had it on five different dates, and it's rained all five. Yeah. So it ain't. It, it's not. 
It, it doesn't just pick. But it doesn't stop everything. You can still have it. Doesn't have seem to affect the kids too much. Oh, it does. I'm telling you, I've never, it's, it's like another Halloween or something because yeah. they dress all up. And mm-hmm. I mean to tell you, I've never seen so many happy <sighs> kids in my life running around with flags and things like that. It's good to teach them some of the morals and things that we need to have in this country again. Okay. All right. Amnesty Day for the, the trash uh, coming up on April 30th, call Scriven City Hall to find out what is not allowed in there and what is allowed in there if you didn't, if you don't understand. And it'll be from 8 a.m. to 12 noon on Saturday, April 30th, with the roll-offs beside Wayne County Farmer's Market and at Grace Community Center in Scriven will be the drop-off points. And don't drop anything off until 8 o'clock or after on That's Saturday right. morning. That's right. Our guys will be there. And our guys will be there in Scriven. And uh, uh, they'll be, they'll help you unload. I mean, don't we'll don't help you unload. Yeah, we'll help okay. you unload. Don't okay. don't worry about that. All right, just get it there. Just get it there. That's right. Help Wayne County look good. All right. Anything else there, County Commissioner? If if anybody wants to volunteer to uh, to help, whether um, it be at the Scriven location or the Jessup location, um, you can call me. My number is two nine four. Thirty three ninety nine, or you can call the uh, city hall in Scriven and volunteer. And if if you you know if you just have that on your heart that you want to help out in the county, you can come up there and and maybe help pick up some of the trash on some of the roads. If you have a group that wants to come, I think we've had the band we before. Have. We have. Um, we've had several other groups that came out and wanted to help, and we have items uh, that are needed to pick up trash such as sticks for picking it up, and we have gloves, and we have jackets, uh, the reflective jackets and things okay. like that for them. So if you want to call me or call City Hall, if you're willing to do that. If you want to volunteer, it's 294-3399. Okay. And Miss Charlene will be up there. You can get in touch with her if you want to help volunteer up there in the Jessup location or call me, and I'll uh, I'll be glad to direct you in the right direction. All right. Bob, any questions for the mayor or the county commissioner? Any at all? You, you, get, you got two leading politicians of Wayne County right here. We got a few more minutes. Nothing else? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good in Scriven, but it's all good. <laughs> Number one small town USA. All right. Well, gentlemen, good luck with the Amnesty Day. Look forward to getting more information on the Independence Day celebration, the fireworks and the festival and all that coming up in July on July 2nd. Okay? All Thank right. Thank you very much. All right. We'll have more of the world-famous Butch and Bob show in a moment right here on Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. Here's your WIFO forecast. Mostly sunny today, east winds at 5 to 10, high of 80, mostly clear low 50s for tonight, sunshine low 80s tomorrow, Saturday sunny high mid 80s, Sunday sunshine mid 80s, Monday sunny high of 90. Then Tuesday, mostly sunny, 30% chance of showers, slight chance of thunderstorms, upper 80s. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the Georgia 811 Weather Center. Contact 811 before you dig. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia. Working to add life to your days. 105.5 FM in Jessa, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, world-famous Butch and Bob show here for this Thursday morning, 21st day of April. And Bob, you said the uh, golf team has got a high school, ball, a high school golf team has got a, a, a match there out there yeah, at Pine Forest today? They're going to be out there today at Pine Forest hosting Savannah Country Day. So well, it'll be a good man. It should be a good match. Savannah Country Day's got a golfer that's signed with the University of Auburn. So it should be some good competition out there today at the Country Club. A lot of, a lot of 
people come out there and follow the golfers around and watch them. Yeah, it's watch a them. lot of fun to watch. So very talented group again. They still got a shot to win the state up well, in the one region. Now they got to go for state. Yeah, but they got a shot to do it. So. Yeah, they got young you know, fingers crossed. Or say you know anybody plays golf, you know how golf is. You either have it one day. You know some days you have it, some days you don't. I so know. Hopefully they all have it that day. They teed up for that state meet. Looking forward to going over there and watching that. At Okie Finucchi on May 16th. That's going to be fun. Yeah, May 16th, a state golf tournament down there. Wayne County will be there representing our region. And wish the golfers the best today. And I think you said they had another uh, uh, match or two before. Yeah, then. we got several more matches. Several more matches before, before, uh, before state in May. And um, and then the Wayne County varsity baseball team will be back in action tomorrow. Is that correct? Yeah, long road trip to Warner Robins. Houston County, double dip, 4.30 and 7.30 the game time. So we'll have them for you. Close out the regular season, but we know we're locked in at number three. So see how these two games go. But be able to work on some things, get some people in there, maybe haven't seen some playing time, see how what they can do. So Okay. And um, and do, we still don't know our opponent no, yet for next week. That other region still battling. They're still week, battling. So what, what day will be the games? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, it'll be Wednesday, day. wherever it yeah. is. Wednesday will be a doubleheader day. The fifth game will be Thursday. All will be on the road. So. Okay. So whoever it is, what's the two teams that we're looking at? Right, Jonesburg and Forest Park are okay. the most likely destinations. So that'll be a pretty good Wednesday. drive. Yep, be a good trip. Okay, so it'll be all day Wednesday for them for that double dip on Wednesday of next week and then the if game on Thursday. Okay. And we wish the Wayne County Varsity Baseball team the best tomorrow as uh, they try to wrap up the region play with a couple of victories tomorrow. Anything else going on sports-wise? We talked about golf. We talked about Wayne County they got Baseball. they tomorrow. Three kids are going to sign scholarships tomorrow at 9 o'clock. It's always a fun ceremony. Ashford, Kathy, Emmy, Shelfin, and Garrison Keith will all sign scholarships tomorrow at the high school. So to continue their collegiate career so okay wishing the best of luck all right anything else on your mind this morning bob anything getting ready for that nfl draft I'm getting ready for the, the nfl draft, draft huh? Braves need to win a series I, I didn't realize they haven't won a series yet yeah yeah they, they're, they're starting off a little slow but you know as, I'm not, of course no one's worried because last year in last year the all-star break they had a you know they were like a losing record and they come out and just stormed in and in in August and September, and, and of course our world champ. So they just got to get the get get it all together. They should have signed Freddie Freeman. <laughs> That's what they should have done. Uh, home, one player is not going to do it. They did, they got a good player to replace him, so they got a lot of their talent there. They'll get it together. All right, Bob. Have a good day. All right, the world famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO, brought to you by O'Quinn Associates, by Murphy Butter Supply, by Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings and by First Southern Bank.